Welcome to this tutorial on differential equations, ordinary differential equations. In the last tutorial, we looked at methods of solving ordinary differential equation of the first order. We look at method of separation of variables. In this tutorial, we are looking at another method that's a reduction to separable form. Some equation do not look separable, but they can be reduced to the separable form. So that's what we want to do in this tutorial. Before we do that, let's check certain terms. The first one we're looking at here is the homogeneous function. When do we say function is homogeneous? Okay, let's take a polynomial for an example. Polynomials in which all terms are of the same degree are called homogeneous polynomials. Polynomials in which all terms are of the same degree, they are called homogeneous polynomials. The degree here is the same thing as power. So let's look at this example. x squared minus 3xy plus 4y squared. This is a polynomial. This term, the power, the power here, the degree here is what? 2. This term, the degree here is also 2. That is 1 and 1. This is a product, so making 2. The power here, the degree here is also what? 2. So each term has the same power, the same degree. So we say this is a, an homogeneous polynomial. Another example, x to the power 4 plus y to the power 4. Is this homogeneous? Yes. Because at this term, is of degree 4, is of under degree 4. So this is homogeneous polynomial. Number 3, x4, y plus 7, y5. Is this homogeneous? Let's check. The degree here is what? Five because this is four, this is one, and this is a product, so this is five. The degree is also what? It's also five. So this is an homogeneous polynomial. So now let's now generalize this. A function of two variables is said to be homogeneous of degree n. A function of two variables, that is f of x, y, is said to be homogeneous of degree n. So f of x, y is said to be homogeneous of degree n. If f of lambda x lambda y can be expressed as lambda to the power n f of x y where lambda x and y are all defined on both sides are defined on both sides okay if this looks difficult, by the time we check a few examples, I believe you understand it. Let's try this example. Example 1. f of x, y equals x4 minus x cube y. Is this homogeneous? We we'll see clearly, but let's use the general term to that we use in defining it to check so f of lambda x lambda y means anywhere you see x you replace with lambda x anywhere you see y you replace with lambda y so we we're having lambda x to the power 4 minus lambda x to the power 3 and lambda y this is lambda 4 x 4 minus lambda 3 x cube then lambda y so this lambda multiply this lambda we have lambda 4 so this is lambda 4 x 4 minus lambda 4 x cube y so we can factorize lambda out we have uh, x 4 minus x cube y and this same thing as the function given to us. So this is the same thing as lambda 4 f of x, y. 
So we conclude that the function is homogeneous of degree 4. Let's check an example. Example 2. Given a function f of x, y equals exponential y x on x plus tan y on x. So lambda, function of lambda x lambda y gives us exponential lambda y on lambda x plus tan lambda y on lambda x and this gives us exponential y on x so lambda cancels out plus tan y on x in terms of lambda this is the same thing as 1 times this so which is lambda to the power 0 this is 1 times this into bracket exponential y on x plus tan y on x so this is lambda to the power 0 f of x y so this is also homogeneous of degree 0 the homogeneous function of degree 0 let's cut another example given the function f of x y is a third one equals x squared plus sine hex cos y f of lambda x lambda y equals lambda x all squared plus sine lambda x cos lambda y Okay, this is lambda squared x squared plus sine lambda x cos lambda y. There is no way we can factorize the lambda out of this trigonometric function. So this is not the same as lambda squared f of x y. So we conclude by saying that the function f of x y equals x squared plus sine x cos y is not homogeneous. The function is not is non-homogeneous or is it not homogeneous? It's non-homogeneous. Number four. Given f of x y equals two x plus y on x squared y squared. f of lambda x lambda y is something as 2 lambda x plus lambda y all over lambda x all squared lambda y all squared so you can factorize lambda out here we have a uh, lambda 2x plus y all over this is lambda squared x squared lambda squared y squared if you're following me so this gives us lambda 2x plus y all over lambda to the power 4 x squared y squared so if you simplify this we have 1 over lambda to the power 3 2x plus y over x squared y squared we same thing as a function given to us this is lambda to the power negative 3 and this is f of x y so this is homogeneous of degree negative 3 hope this is well understood now let's now solve equations that can be reduced to the separable form with homogeneous coefficients. Okay, let's take this question. We want to solve equations with homogeneous coefficients, differential equations. Okay. 
solve the differential equation solve the differential equation x squared plus y squared dx minus 2xy the y equals to zero. And to solve this, we have to ask ourselves this question. The coefficients are homogeneous. Okay? You can do a little more test. We agree that the function is homogeneous if each term has the same degree. This term can ask what degree? Degree two. This is degree two. This is degree two. So it's homogeneous. Homogeneous of what degree? May not be right to say of degree two. But for now, we can see this is homogeneous. So if it's homogeneous, what do we do? Our attempt is to reduce this to be able separable form. And we do that by saying let y be equals vx. Since y is a function of x, let y be equals to vx. So if y equals to vx, we want to differentiate y. is the same thing as keep v constant to differentiate x. Plus, you keep x constant, differentiate v. This is otherwise known as product rule. This will be explained further in my tutorial, basic mathematics for lecture institution students. So let's replace every function we have here by these two uh, new functions we've got. So we have uh, x squared plus, in place of y, we write vx all squared then dx please be very very careful here vx this is called change of variable technique so as you are changing it don't be carried away plus x dv equals zero look at this very well Everywhere we found y replaced by vx, everywhere we had the y replaced by v dx plus x dv. So let's simplify. Now first we find what we do is we collect like times. You'll be surprised what we'll be left with. This is what we have. When we expand the equation we have on the last page, we have this. So we can see it to be easier if we can divide through by x squared. So the equation becomes less conspicuous. Okay, divide through by x squared. What do we have? dx plus v squared dx minus 2v squared dx minus 2xv dv equals 0. Can I see something? I can see something here. Can you see it? These are like terms. So we have dx is like 1v squared minus 2v squared that is a minus v squared dx can you see this minus 2x v dv equals zero that large equation has become very simple now so let's move ahead we can factorize the dx 1 minus v squared dx and take you onto that side of the equation equals 2xv dv. Hope you can see something that this is very perceptible now. All we have to do is to bring this to this side and this to the side. So what do we have? We have 1 over x dx equals 2v all over 1 minus v squared dv. Variable separable. So the next thing we do is we integrate both sides. Since it's variable separable, the next thing after separating the variables, the next thing we do is we integrate both sides. So we integrate both sides. What do we have? Lane hex. So since this is the independent variable side, we had a constant c here. Equals, when we integrate 2v over 1 minus v squared, you're going to have a minus lane 1 minus v squared 
please hope this is well understood. If you have problem with understanding this, you can check my tutorial, basic mathematics for tertiary institution student. So we are very close to the final answer, but we have a strange value here, and that is v. We've got to replace v with a function of y and x. So don't forget we said the our uh, y equals vx. So our v will be equals y on x. So replace that. So with that we, we have we're going to have lean x plus c equals minus lean one minus v square will be y squared on x squared. So simple simplification, we have x squared minus y squared on x squared. That is LCM. Hope you can see that. So here we have minus lean. Let the minus be outside. x squared minus y squared minus lean x squared. Okay. This gives us minus lean x squared minus y squared plus lean x squared. This is lean x plus c. These are just simplifications. So you can start to bring this to the other side of the equation. So what do we have? So this is the same thing as 2 lean x. Lean x squared is the same thing as 2 lean x. This is lean is logarithms. So all the properties of logarithms still hold here. Lin x plus c and also lin x squared equals minus lin x squared minus y squared. So here we have lin x plus c minus 2 lin x equals minus lin x squared minus y squared. So minus lin x plus c equals a minus lean x squared minus y squared. Can multiply two by negative minus one. We have lean x minus c is the same as a lean x squared minus y squared. So minus c and plus c actually the same thing. So you can see we have a let's call minus c let's call it a plus a. Let's call this lean h equals a lean x squared minus y squared. So we're going to have lean a x equals lean x squared minus y squared. So a x equals x squared minus y squared. Lean equals lean. So from here we have y squared equals x squared minus ax y squared to be equals x squared minus ax or y equals plus or minus square root of x squared minus ax so hope this is well understood so simple thank you